Sorry, Les, I was just eating some chocolate. I'm always eating, aren't I? I'm always eating chocolate. Bum chocolate. Some nice, uh, some nice mint chocolate, mint chocolate cream, minty cream chocolate. But anyway, that, that's got nothing to do with uh, modelling, has it? That's just got to do with chocolate. And keeping the modeler happy. So here we are anyway, Les. It's uh, build update number two. bits of chocolate <laughs> but build up that number two um so let's get started let's get down to the bench we'll have a look um we're on to step five six and seven so we've got the uh we've got the main kind of skeleton um chassis all put together um i've been playing around with the tracks and things i'm after putting them on bloody nightmare putting them on it really really is it's very very hard to get them on because they're in two pieces and I said I'd put them on just to kind of dry fit them and see how things were going and uh, yeah they're, they're, they're very very difficult to put on they'll have to come up with uh, an idea on when it comes to the painting because I put them on to see you know oh could you put them on and paint on you know what I mean will I get the paint into the different areas and I won't they'll have to be painted the tracks will have to be painted separately and then fit them and they are very awkward to put them on but there is one thing you mean I can paint say the chassis then paint the uh, tracks then fit them on and I know I'm going to scrape off paint and bits and paste in some parts so what I can do is I can you know go back in and do touch-ups and that's how I'm going to do it that's the only way I can figure out how to do it also, uh, for some weird reason, the front wheels are upside down. I'll show you now in a second. So let's go down to the bench and we'll have a look at what I'm talking about. Alright, so before I start and start marking off things or anything like that, right? Um, here's the tracks. And as you can see, you I mean you've got the uh, the bogies are on and you're fitting on the the return rollers and the tracks and it looks so simple doesn't it it looks simple as hell but believe me it's not easy at all it's actually quite quite hard um there is a bit of uh how would you say it? you have to kind of pressure them on you know fight them in fight them in there so i got them on anyway i'm going to just pop off those for a second because we will talk about that now anyway. and i got them on okay um you know, they're on, they fit, they fit nicely, they must admit, you know what I mean, when they're on they look lovely, they really do, they look grand, they look the part, but they are a bugger to get on, um, so I'll have to figure out some way of getting them in there and getting them on, getting them off now to, um, to disassemble is another thing as well, that's going to be fun. But I'm not going to do it for a while. I'm just going to leave them on for a while. Um, like I said, with the with the, the wheels, um, I seem to have put the wheels on the wrong way. Bloody way around as well. How the hell did I manage that? I do not know. But uh, I need. They've got a kind of. Um, you can see the shape of that. Okay. The corresponding shape is on the hub so therefore that is downwards so unless it's down oops that fits onto that no I did that and I've been trying to figure it out because if I did them that they were up the other way excuse me then this whole mechanism system here would be upside down it would be on the top rather than the bottom do you, know, do you get me anyway and we've got the same type system there with sort of the flat top and the roundy bottom we've also got that on our wheels so if you go from the roundy bottom to that is it at the bottom and the top is flat so we get that around the flat see the flat bit and the roundy bit fits on lovely and there we've got our flattened bit of tyre to the top um, so it's a case of I want that to fit underneath that way so I might have to do a bit of a, a bit of doctoring 
on the bottom of the, the, the curvy piece just take it off a bit and put it on um, unless of course I'm after no 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 same same thing yeah I just thought it might be sort of different to one way than the other but no 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 we never would be with it Yep, yep, there it is, back in the top again. So I'm going to have to do a bit of doctoring on the, uh, I won't do it on the, the main hub, but I'll do it on this one, so I can fit them on and make sure that the, uh, that the curvy bit is at the top and not the bottom. So, just more playing around with to do, and uh, I have to go back into the instructions to see where I went bloody well wrong. Um, although I was so careful, I don't think I did go wrong. I think it might be... Uh, we blame the kit. It's a problem with the kit. It's not my problem. <laughs> it's me. It's me, John. Um, also, if you remember, I was deciding whether to go with the one with the winch, winch, or the roller thing. And I was asking, I asked people, what the hell is this roller? What is it? Okay. What the hell is, what's its purpose? Is it a counterweight? Is it um, a spool of something? Found out what it is. It's um, it's an unditching roller, okay, and it's for getting the, the top up. So if it goes down into a bank, this thing rolls along and it roll will roll the front of the uh, vehicle up over a ditch and things. So that's what it is. It's an unditching roller. It's at the front. Very nice little idea. Um, I've made I've made it up. No, I've made up both of them. Okay, I've made up the uh, the one for the. The winch, winch, winch on the front, and I made up the one, the little roller one as well. And some nice little bits of PE and all of that on the roller. And I've decided to go with the one with the winch, okay, purely because it's the one that's on the box. That's what they're showing you on the vehicle on the box. It's got the the, win the winch roller, so we'll go with that one, okay, for no other reason because I couldn't really decide and. I wasn't going to let the PE, you know, make the decision for me. So that'll fit on with that. They're all nicely glued into place and held in. So that's my next step now is to get that into place there. Okay. And I'm going to have to try and play around with these to get them to fit that the uh, the curved bit <coughs> excuse me, matches up. And I'm going to have the, the, the wheels with that flattened a bit on the ground rather than up in the air you know and so there you have a flat tire that's ah, okay so it's only flat at the bottom but um, anyway so we're on once we've got the, them on I've got the tracks on and things like that and I've fixed the, uh, the thing with the, uh, the front wheels I'm not going to fit the wheels but I'm going to fit the uh, these hubs whatever they are okay I'm going to fit those um, because I want to paint the uh, wheels separately. It's just easier to paint it in around the backs of them things if you paint them off the vehicle rather than paint them on the vehicle. Okay. Um, the least things I can put on to, to, that are not in the way. It's grand if they're all going to be one colour, but if you're going to have the slight different colours in there, it's easier to paint them off the vehicle. Um, so continue on then. I've got the get that winch 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 made up. Um, there's bits of chain, bits of rope, and God knows what else to be put into the chain, into that. Uh, a couple of other little um, springy things they've got to be put in, and we're making up this assembly here, right? You know, steering wheel and things. So once we say we once we get onto that seven, we're into the cab construction. Okay, so we're into the cab construction, the seats and all that. So 8, 9, 10 and 11 is all the cab. So I'll get cracking on with that and uh, i get back to you when I've a bit done. We can have a look at it. Um, if I find any problems along the way, not really problems, but if I find anything tricky along the way, I'll stop and I'll video that and I'll show you any tricky bits. But if it's going together straightforward, it's pointless me stopping and showing you, oh, this is how you glue A to B. You don't need to know that. What you were looking for is uh, anything that's kind of awkward, anywhere where I might have a slight problem or 
you know, what do I do here, what do I do there? I might even ask your advice and things. So, let's carry on anyway and uh, let's get stuck in. Alright, so here we are. We're after doing five and six. Okay, getting them all completed. Seven is definitely we're on now to the uh, the cab. So we'll, we'll start with that in a second. I'll just show you what I've done in five and six. I'm after finishing off the, um, the chassis. Okay. As you saw in the last clip there, I, I had all the um, I had all this stuff on. Okay. Um, I just had to finish off. I had to sort out the wheels. If you remember the the problem with this here so I had to do was I just had to shave off a little bit of the uh, the rounding and that shaved it off and put the glue these on then straight and as you can see from this bit from here okay so I'll take it out and put it in there. And as you can see from there the wheels are on and they're straight okay there we go the wheels are on and they're straight um I can show you from here, okay. Uh, the wheels are on, but they're everything is dry fitted, so the wheels are going to fall off the second I pick this up. Okay, fell off just a second. I picked it up. <laughs> I did have to break it off. All right, there was another couple of tiny little pieces here. There was this little cross piece here. Okay, oh, it's too much. We've got a bit too much light on it now. We either I either have too little light or too much. Right. There we go. We this little cross piece here that had to be glued in to place as well as some little support um, these little connecting rods and things here. Okay. That all had to be done. So as you can see, oh yes, I had to put on the um the winch on the front had to go on as well. All I have to do now is there's two little hooks to go on there, I just spotted them there. Um, so there's just two little hooks and then that's that that's that's finished. Okay, so the rest of it is all done. As we can see it's it's very, very nicely detailed. Very, very um how is it just just crisp. It's really nice, you know. Um That'll take paint, be beautiful painted up and weathered. Because um, out in the desert, these things would have been, as you can even see from the from the cover, from the, co the cover art of them on the um, on the box itself, they were co quite beaten up. Okay, they did get quite beaten up, weather wise, as in I mean paint chipped off them and all this. There's quite a lot of that uh, rust settled in because even though the, through the desert there's still moisture in the air and once the base paint is gone and you're left with the bare metal it will rust up. It will rust, rust up very very fast here indeed. But it, it doesn't kind of, it's not like say dust in, in Europe or in so probably certain places in America and you know certain places in America that understand this as well. That when it rusts up it only gets so far, it doesn't get as deep, if you know what I mean, it, it doesn't go as, uh, you don't get that kind of wet rust, it's a, it's a dry rust, and it just kind of discolours everything, but puts a tiny little coating of uh, of kind of rust on it. Eventually, if it's left alone, it will just eat away, but um, it's constantly being rubbed off again by the sand and the wind and all that kind of stuff, so it doesn't really dig in deep, and it doesn't get kind of flaky rust. It's a, it's a surface rust. So anyway, right, the next step now for me is I'm going to get started on the cab section of it, okay? And I can leave all that to the side, finish it for the time being, after I put on the two hooks, of course. Don't forget the two hooks. So um, I get stuck in with the cab. We'll have a look at the cab then. Probably have a, a, a squint at it every now and then until I'm finished it, because there might be one or two little bits and pieces that I might have to talk about. So, on with the cab. Right, lads, as I said, now we're on to step seven. Okay, I have that done. Um, it's a bit of a PE folding. I'm trying to figure out what it looked like for a finish because they don't give you a decent enough picture of um, what you're supposed to end up with. But I think I've got it uh, close enough anyway because I've done 
to see further where you actually fit it, how it's fitted, and um, you can kind of tell from that what it's supposed to look like. Um, here it is, it's fitted there on the inside, kind of thing. So, you can see that these things kind of protrude a little bit. So, I've done that anyway, and um, we'll have a quick look at it. There it is, nice and small. There we go. It's got its little uh, holders there for it. Um, what it actually is, I haven't the faintest idea. It looks like an ammo box. And there she is, anyway. Nice and small. So that's uh, step number seven. Uh, that's the J part of that. And M then is the, uh, it's just the dash with the uh, steering column and the steering wheel. Sorry, there we go. M is just the, uh, there we go, there's the uh, the dash board, the steering column and the, um, the steering wheel. So we'll have a look at them. There we go. That's that all done. Okay. Nicely detailed, I must say. Nicely detailed. Um should paint up absolutely lovely <laughs> to see whether I'll paint it up lovely or not is another thing but it should be painted up nice and lovely um, yeah there we go not more much more we can say about that okay it's done it's there and run it then to step number eight and step eight then is uh, we've got our cab piece here We've got to cut out this little section down here because at a later stage um, I didn't cut it out yet because I wanted to see, you know, why was it cut out? And at a later stage we're making these pieces here out of um, PE, okay? And they go onto it and it kind of goes down and it goes into that little cut out piece down there where we cut out because the, the box drops down a bit. So i got to cut that out, I'll show you now in a second. Um, but I've all the other little pieces here fitted in section 8. I've the, the seats are in, um, the four wheel drive and the gearbox and all that, they're in, handbrake, uh, this Yoki Bob here, they're all in anyway. And they're quite nice, lovely, fitted in absolutely beautiful, they really, really did. Um, so there we go, there are all those little pieces in. Okay, so as I said, then we got to cut out. Well, which side is it? I'll make sure we get the right side. We got to cut it out here, and it's nicely marked anyway for us. So we can just cut out that little section there, um, scribing with the back of the uh, the hobby knife, and across that should pop out easy enough. Don't sort of try to if you're doing this yourself. Don't try and just chop in there and chop there because you will end up damaging it it's easier just to you know take your time and cut it out with the back of that if you don't have um, a, a little razor saw which I don't have uh, I must get my hands on one at some stage and um, just use the back of the knife give it a couple of scrapes it'll eventually just come out just take your time be careful with it okay uh, step nine let's excuse all the shouting and roaring in the background here they on mental Right, step nine, we're adding a few more bits and pieces to our um, our cab base. Okay, we're fitting the sides onto it. Um, we're going to make up these little PE boxes that go in on the side. And we've got a couple more PE bits and pieces here. We've got the uh, fuel can racks and things. So I'll get ahead with them and I'll get back to you as soon as they're done. Right, so here we are, and we've got step nine done. Okay, step nine was we started off with our cab section that we've already got done up in step eight. Put on the sides, but to do loads of PE in it, put on our doors, loads more PE in this side, put on our doors again, put in our, um, our dash with our steering column, and what else have we to put in a fire extinguisher so that was basically all on our tool chest which was all sort of uh, P and we put in a little fiddly yoke bob under the uh, under the structure in there 
so that's all done we'll have a look at it okay and like i said there's plenty of bloody pe there plenty of folding and things and i don't have a pe bender so i folded them all by uh by hand well with the use of tweezers and pliers and a few other little bits and pieces you know um quite happy with all the ones at this side me um jerry can holders come out nicely these two storage boxes came out nice um the slidey thing there in the window okay there's that yoke underneath that piece whatever it was i don't know and this side then we have our uh, our tool holder thing and uh we've got some more jerry can holders and another uh doohickey there in the window okay we have our uh a fire extinguisher there and we have our dash in as well okay so that looks all nice i'm quite happy with how that came out um excuse this little piece here i must have i must have uh ooh, i must have squashed that down so i'll just straighten that up have you ever squish, squash something down and you straighten something up oh, i was putting a little spot of glue in there because what it does is it kind of softens it and then hardens it all back up again which is what you want and um, if you just leave it down you just weaken that area so the glue will kind of help to strengthen it back up again okay it was our um it's our handbrake i think is what it is to be honest with you but anyway there we go there's a uh, step number nine done so in this video i'm hoping to get as far as step 11 done so what have we got to do I've got to put up the uh, the Browning machine gun section, which is one of goes into one of our windows there. So um, a few bits and pieces to be done to the Browning. We've got to cut off some of the um, the mounting brackets that are on it. Okay. Um, let me just basically build up this little assembly here. It seems to be fairly easy enough. Then we're putting on our windscreen, that little yoke J, which we made up with uh, an ammo box getting that uh, attached on um, there's another drivers sort of um, armor patch which we're going to have up okay I'm going to have it sort of sticking up so you can kind of see into it then we've got our hood or our bonnet depends on where you're from depends on what you call it oh excuse me and we've got these two pieces here d30 there's one here and there's one there and they're uh, just little bars up that will hold up the uh, this piece here the k11 piece okay so i'm hoping to get that done this evening okay all nicely cleaned off it looks as if it's up it'll fall together but you'll never know it always needs a bit of cleaning up a little bit of fiddling here and there so we get step 10 and step 11 done tonight and uh, that hopefully will wrap up this th this video. And the next one then we're on to yeah we're on to the main body of it. Okay, um, it's got us making up the gun, which I suppose is handy enough because we're going to try and leave that off separately for paint and we get it to that stage, and then we can get that painted as that, and we can have all our, uh, our, our our body assembly already together and then it's just the last few little bits and pieces putting it all together so um i get on i get step 10 and step 11 done we'll have a look at that we'll finish off the video and uh we'll see how we're going then from there make a new plan exactly okay so i'll catch you in a minute when i've got that much done all righty then so as you saw we got the cab the sides on and we got the, uh, the bit of photo etch done in those so we had to do step 10 and 11 okay step 10 was the uh fitting the 30 caliber machine gun into the um we call it the passenger's window <laughs> he no longer has a window he's now got a big sheet of armor and a 30 cal um that's all done there's uh you to cut off a little pieces here that were on the uh on the machine gun they had to be taken off and then we fitted it okay fitted it into the uh the windscreen fitted on that piece number j which was the uh little ammo box there and we've got our, our 
driver's window with the two little supports up and fit it on the um, the hood, the bonnet, whatever you want to call it. So there it is, okay, there's our 30 cal machine gun in place, all nicely fitted in there. Um, the ammo box is in, okay, as we can see. So it it's actually comes together quite nice, very, very nice indeed. Um, it is very nice, it really is. And I am really, really impressed with this kit. I really am, really enjoying it. Um, as you may have guessed, I'm taking my time in it. A little bit. It's just that it, 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 it takes up a bit more. I mean, there's a little bit more involved in it. Um, the clean up on the pieces is easy enough, but there's a little bit of modifications to be done here and there, you know, following the instructions it's to be cut off this, that, and the other. Um, the photo which it's something that I'm, I, I'm still getting used to to a certain degree. I'm not, uh, I'm not well up 100% up in that stuff yet. Okay, so there's our uh, our cab. Okay, so our cab so far. There's one or two other bits to go on to it. We've got, the, we've got a whole piece of the front and a few other more bits and pieces to go on, but judging by the instructions, they go on at a later date. Right, number 12. Okay, we went on and we did, I did number 12. And in number 12, we're putting on the two sides of the the, uh, the tub, the back, the back piece of it, okay, the, um, the trailer part. I mean, to do the two sides and get them done up, okay. So I've them done, and then I stepped, I, I kind of jumped ahead, because I didn't want to do the gun, I'm leaving the gun till later. Okay, I'm getting the cab finished first, or the, 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 the truck, the main body of the, uh, the half track done first. So, I'm back in two secs. Oh, sorry about that. I just Abby was in. I had to say good night. Okay, so I'm after fitting on the two sides onto the cab, and there's a bottom piece here which I fitted on as well. Okay, so here's our two cab sides. All right, there's the side which is the first one with the aerial mount on it. Okay, and we've got our little bits of uh, P accents on it there. Okay, very very nice bit fiddly but it went together no problems no problems at all and we've got the same then at the other side slight bit of movement on them but I mean uh, they always kind of fiddly bits and pieces always tend to move on me I'm sure we all have the same problem get a piece glue it into position put it down and then just and just grab it the wrong way pushes it down while it's still soft and then forget about it um, there's that bottom section so what I've got to get finished this evening hopefully is finish off the rest of this okay there's some storage bins and things to go in okay we've got that centerpiece for the the gun mount I'm going to put that in we got the uh, the back section we've got another section here um sort of at the front dividing the cab from the uh from the the trailer part and there's a couple of more little like i said a couple of boxes and things seat backs um on the back here we've got the uh the tow hook hitch we've got some storage boxes um so there's still there's still quite a bit to get done quite a bit to get done um, like I said then we've got f more then to do to the um, to the cab itself we've got a top piece to put on and judging by that that can't be put on until the the top and the bottom are sort of sorry the, the cab and the the truck body are put together and on the yoke because it, it kind of keeps everything in line because it will pass out this line here and glue in there. I might be able to fit it onto this section, then we can it, it, for painting. It'd be much easier because I, I, I hate to I hate adding on pieces afterwards because the color variation just it's not a major thing, but you can see it that it's an add-on and being added on later. Okay, so now we've got then we've got our lights. We seem to have loads of, of um, P there in our lights, so that's going to be bloody well fun. 
Um, I'm okay with P. It's just this P is very, 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 very thin. Okay, look at that. It is super thin, and even in cutting it off, the the the, the, the sprue, we call it a sprue, whatever else it's called, I do not know. But even even in cutting it off, that it can be quite um, quite fiddly, and it can it distort very, very easy. Um, so I'm hoping that I can cut it off neatly because my way of cutting it off is just to put it down and on the little knob there that holds it on just pop that and then clean it off afterwards um, fragile very very fragile very 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 thin PE so like I said I continue on with the truck body anyway and we'll see how far we can get done in that um, I'm going to finish the video at this so the next video will start with having a look at what I've gotten done this evening okay I don't want to make the videos too long because people get bored with a sort of a, a half an hour three quarters of an hour video it's a bit too long so if you can if I can kind of cut it down to sort of 20 25 minute sections at the most I'll be happy enough with that this is probably longer the last one was over a half an hour but we'll try anyway so I'll catch you on the next one I'll stay safe in the meantime don't forget uh, go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy it and uh, I'm definitely enjoying this one